wins gold in women's freestyle wrestling. I played a lot of sports as a kid, but in high school, there was a sign posted on the gymnasium door that said co-ed wrestling practice. And I was like, wrestling? Like, what is this sport? And from that first moment, I fell in love with the sport. A lot of my friends would say that I'm like, oh, you're so confident, like, how do you do it? And it's like, oh my God, like if only they knew. <laughs> but it's not always been easy. It's so hard to do it on your own. Like you walk out there by yourself on the mat, but there's like a whole village that's supporting you behind you. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to reach out. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable. The power of leaning into other people, it's incredible. Just going for a casual hike in Whistler. I was really lucky to find my tribe. <laughs> find those people that ignite and support those passions in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the only thing that matters is the people that you want to have for dinner, the people that truly love you. Nice. Whether I win or lose a wrestling match, those people are going to love me no matter what. <laughs> the history of women's sport is a history lesson in resilience. We've had to fight for everything that we have, and we have to continue to fight. I get a lot of weird remarks and comments, like, oh, you don't look like a wrestler. Do women even wrestle? You know, all I can do is tell them that I'm Olympic champion, I'm the best woman in the world. When young girls are getting into the sport of wrestling, they have been told their whole lives that they can't play rough, they can't be tough, they can't be a little bit creative with their bodies, and that's a big challenge to overcome. And when girls learn that, it's like a huge breakthrough for their lives as wrestlers, and I think in life. When you visualize yourself being successful, when you visualize yourself being strong and powerful and confident, it has power over your body. Go! You can tell them what you're I always try to give back to be that role model because I want the next generation of young girls to see me and to not question their love for the sport and their place in our sport. Beautiful. At first, I was really scared of doing it because I was smaller than most of the people, but then I soon began to love it. I started to get into the habit of stressing out over little things. All that started to build up and I just kind of worked it off and started to like the feeling of every bone in my body tingling. Make them crisp, make them count. Good job. I think the first step is showing up every single day and being there and being present in that moment. And then it's trying new things and finding out what really truly fills your soul. And you don't know what that is until you take a first step. <laughs>